Now that is badass. Well, it is time for Jagged Alliance 2 to start up. This, this might be a fairly long playlist. I'm actually not sure. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time explaining the game. But it is a tactical, turn-based strategy game where you build up an army, you hire mercenaries, and you kill your way across the countryside to fight the evil queen. I don't know if we'll make it to the queen. I don't know how far we'll get. Um, I'm not going to be reloading the game if I, say, enter a mission and then lose a whole bunch of mercenaries. Um, if somebody dies, they're more or less going to be dead. There may be a couple times where I do reload an off-screen thing, so I'm not going to say that I'm going to do this completely 100% um, with no reloading at all, but I'm not going to be showing you guys the reloads. So, um, the, what you see is what you're going to get, and eventually we'll either make it to the queen and kill her, or we will um, flounder and fail along the way. It's going to be a long, hard, arduous journey. Plenty of people are going to die in this um, little quest that we go on. Uh, you know what, let's just start the game, go to the beginning intro, and then uh, start getting everything set up. It'll explain everything. Mm, kind of, I guess. Well, the intro is not that explanatory. Difficulty level is just going to be experienced. Bobby Ray's selection. Wanna, we're going to bump that up to... Actually, excellent. Just for, you know, the sake of speeding up the playlist, if we've got the money, we're going to be able to buy pretty excellent stuff. I, maybe, you know, maybe I should even do awesome. I don't know. I haven't actually tried awesome yet. Um, game style is going to be sci-fi. That means there can be aliens and stuff like that that show up, I guess. Hellhounds, creatures, experimental monsters and stuff like that. It'll kind of keep things spiced up. Items, tons of guns laying around all over the place. We're not going to be really scavenging for weapons after the first hour or two. Once we take um, one of our first towns, things are going to pick up and pace drastically. As for the difficulty, I'm going to save any time because some of these battles can be quite long. Um, but I will be doing a semi Iron Man. Like I said, if people die, they're more or less going to be they're more or less going to stay dead. If you see them die, they're dead. Um, yeah. So if a whole Merc team gets wiped out, that's it for them. I think everything else is good to go. Inventory system can be new. We'll just hit OK here. And we can just ignore this warning. Let's see. Rebel base in Omerta. Aruko. Future side of the golf course is straight ahead. We're going to begin construction today. I want all the heavy equipment to move in and uh, do your jobs as quickly as possible. Let's get hole 18 finished here, kids. Deidreana, our queen for life. She's the evil bitch we're after. That's where the dog leg's gonna go. And that's gonna be the sand bunkers right there. And now back in Prague, the Czech Republic. Two months after the construction began. Comrade, come shelter yourself inside my walls, is what that face says to me. Petrinska Kavarna. Kavarna? <sighs> Hello, amigo. I was happy to hear you have decided to take the assignment. No doubt your inquiries have shown that I, Enrico Chivaldori, speak the truth. In the past ten years, since killing my father and framing me, my wife has inflicted great suffering upon my people. Those that may be of value to her are imprisoned, beaten, and tortured. The old, the sick, 
Even infants with birth defects are removed swiftly from the population. Now it is time to remove her. I have brought the money you requested. It is everything I have. However, Arulko is full of gold and silver, and you might be able to convince the miners to help us in the struggle. There also exists a small but determined rebel movement. They are led by a man named Miguel Cordona. If you can locate Miguel, I have written a letter for you to give him. I believe he will accept you and prove to be an invaluable ally. I wish you luck, my friend. Let's just hope he doesn't shoot me. Dump my body in a ditch. So we log into our laptop here and let's see, mailbox. We have new email. So this is our OS, our operating system and everything right here. This is our little laptop that we'll be using quite quite a lot throughout this series. And we've got email that we can check here. This is a um, pre-story here. We do not know me. This is from Enrico. Enrico, the guy we just talked to. He paid us to go um, kill his ex-wife, Deidreana, the evil queen who has um, pretty much been pillaging and um, destroying the population on this island. A tyrannical dictator. Let's see, I think he sent this to us. You do not know me. However, I have been informed that you are in a position to help me. I wish to avoid divulging details of my predicament electronically, and wonder whether you can meet with me at your earliest convenience. Let's see. Further to our discussion last night, I find your terms agreeable. That was $40,000 in cash that he was supposed to pay us. That's really all we wanted. I will need a couple of days to raise the money. While I am doing so, I trust you will be looking into my story, and we shall be able to conclude our deal shortly. Let's see. R.I.S. What is R.I.S.? There's still a whole lot of this game in this game that I don't know, so you guys are going to have to just suffer through some of it with me while I stumble around. If you have requested, please find the background information in Aruko as a file. R.I.S. Move to our files here. Okay, so RIS stands for Recon Intelligence Services. They've uh, reconned the island for us and gave us a little bit of information on it. Let's see. A whole bunch of stuff that we really don't need to worry about. The uh, economy here, we're going to be trying to take over as quickly as possible. We want the mines. That way we can start producing money. Every single day the money will roll in and we can spend it on better mercs better mercenaries, training militia, I'm buying better gear. <sighs> so they were married, they divorced, and she turned even more evil than she was before. Standard, standard love story there. Enrico confirmed. Let's see. I'm available to meet with you at Petskrinka Kevarna in Prague. At the time and date you've prescribed, I'll bring the money as you uh, requested. So there we go. And uh, our first new email here is from Psych Pro Incorporated. We know what you're thinking. Know your character. Can you be your own worst enemy? Absolutely. How can you best use your talents? Give me a gun. Find out who you really are at IMP, Institute for Mercenary Profiling. Yep, we're going to be going and making our own mercenaries and sending them out across the land to train and to battle. And a message from Spec, a new recruiting alternative. But this is not spam, don't delete this. Excuse me, I have received your name from friend of a friend. I'm Spec T. Klein, co-proprietor of a new mercenary recruitment center, Merc, that I think you'll find very interesting. As an ex-member of AIM and extremely familiar with their operations, I am confident that we can offer services on par with theirs. In fact, I know we can outperform AIM in almost every aspect except talent level. That is the bottom of the barrel there. Not be hiring too many people from them. We're going to go straight to um, Institute of Mercenary Profiling here and create our first overpowered character that's going to hopefully survive for quite some time. Activation code is XEP624. And let's see, they have a patented four-step process. It can break any person into their main components without the aid of a machete. So we'll just begin here. First character is going to be Jack Stone. Nickname, Roland. It's going to be a male. We'll have a few females scattered throughout here too. We're going to have a well-rounded group by the time we're done. And that's what he looks like right there. 
He does not sound like that. There we go. And he's going to be a big body. Don't really toggle the alternate rifle holding. We'll test that out. Why not? He's going to have black pants. I think, um, let's see. A green shirt. And there we go. Uh, give him a little bit of tan for being out in the sun. There we are. Character. The analysis of your character is the next step on your profile creation. We'll be choosing a few um, traits here. Let's see. He's going to be an asshole. He's just a straight up asshole. Disabilities. We're going to make him a non swimmer. That's not really going to come into play very often, but when it does, um, it's, it's going to be important. See, he'll have, to, he'll have to take the long way around several times and try not to get gunned down while everyone else swims. Skills. What are we skilled in? Sniping, no. Night operations, teaching. I don't really want him to be a teacher. I don't want him to do any of those. So he doesn't have any skills there. But we are going to heavily tweak his attributes here. We have 120 base points for him. He does not need any mechanical ability at all. Likewise, he doesn't need any medical at all. We're going to have specialized um, medics on our team and specialized mechanics as well. He also does not need any explosives. This guy is just a straight out leader and shooter. Marksmanship all the way to 85. Health? I don't even know why I put points into health. It seems like if you get shot, from my experiences, if you get shot, you're dead. You very rarely survive getting shot. Even once you get body armor. Then it does start to add up. Wisdom. Can I max all of these? Good god, I can. Wow. I didn't know I'd have that many points left over. So let's see. He has 15 points here. Bump him up to starting level 2. And... Can't get him started on anything else about take that down there we go now we'll put we'll give him just a little bit of points in mechanical he can be a backup um, repairer for some of our items there we go we're done with him and yes it cost three thousand dollars to create each mercenary so we're done with our first one um, xcp 624 so i can remember how to type it our second mercenary is going to be a medic she's going to be Susie Johnson, and her nickname is going to be just Q. She's going to be a female, and let's see, what's her appearance? Where are you at, Susie Q? Right. Mm. Yeah, there's, there she is. That voice, too. There we go. Don't really need to change anything here. Most of our mercs are going to be dressed like this, by the way. We're going to try to keep kind of the same outfit for everyone, so I, just by looking at the screen, we can tell who's who, and um, who we're supposed to be shooting. Character-wise, pessimist, aggressive, arrogant, no, no. She's going to be friendly because she's going to be our medic. But she is completely psychotic. Don't know what it is. Something about the blood. Just the bloodlust just overwhelms her, and it's just too much. Specialties. She doesn't need to be good at stealth. Because quite frankly, we're going to be sending her into some very dangerous situations. I know you're not supposed to send medics into dangerous situations, but... If somebody gets shot on the front lines, she may need to get up to them before they bleed out. Sometimes you just have to risk it like that. Attributes. Let's see, what are we going to have? I want her uh, medical ability all the way up to 80. She doesn't need any mechanics or explosives either. But she does need to be able to shoot. Has to be able to defend herself. Health, 75. Strength, because she's gonna have some, she's gonna have a lot of gear. Don't really need leadership on her. Wisdom can be there. We'll take leadership just down to zero. She doesn't need to be a leader. She's not going to be training any militia. She's not going to be leading any groups into battle. Hopefully not. Unless everyone else gets killed. Agility and dexterity so she, she can move. Leave that at 80. And, um, yeah, we'll, 
We'll just have to hope she doesn't get spotted and shot, because she'll probably definitely die. Probably, definitely, maybe, certainly. There we go. And we're done with her. Um, now we need a mechanic. XCP64. And we are going to hire some real mercenaries, too, not just create them. Let's see. How about Luke Henderson? What should his nickname be? Luke. He can be Toolbox. And he's going to be heavily geared down too, so he'll need plenty of strength. His appearance. We're going to save this appearance for one of our more psychotic people. There he is. Kind of a nice fella. And there he goes. Normal body, yeah. Give him a little bit of tan. There we go. Change the pants to match the uniform. Let's see, what character traits should he have? Loner, probably. Let's just stereotype these characters as much as possible. He's going to be a loner. He just prefers to work on this stuff by himself. And how about... I want to say heat intolerant because he absolutely... Well, no. He doesn't work in his shop. I guess he could also be a scrapper or something like that. Claustrophobic? Maybe. Non-swimmer? Fear of insects? I want everyone to have some type of disability. Let's make him nervous. And skills. What is he skilled at? Lockpicking would probably be useful to have on a character. I have ran into several doors and chests and lockers that I could not open because I didn't have high enough lockpicking skill, I guess. Throw-in teaching. Um, I don't know what good electronics would do. I haven't ran into too many electronics. So, uh, actually, you know, it won't give him any specialties. I'll just say, if you don't give out specialties, you have more bonus points here to spend. And we'll take his mechanical ability up to 80. He doesn't need medical. I almost want to... You know what? He can mess around with explosives, too. Explosives will come in handy from time to time whenever we need to take an alternate route. And everyone needs to have the highest marksmanship possible. I don't want to even mess with mercenaries who can't shoot a damn gun. You know what? He's maybe going to be a trainer, too. I don't know. Actually, you know what? He doesn't need leadership. He's not going to be a, a, mil a militia trainer. Agility and dexterity can be bumped up too. Let's see, we'll bump that. That up to 80 in the last 5 points. Let's put that into strength. He's going to have to carry around a decent number of repair kits. And we'll finish him out. Yep. And... Let's do one more mercenary. XCP624. Let's see. This is going to be another female. How about Lauren? What was my other person's name already? I don't want to create any couples. Lauren Silva right there. And nickname. Her nickname can be Double. She'll be a female. And what's she going to look like? Where you at, Double? Show yourself. There's Double. We've got trouble. Okay, let's pop some zits. Mm, yeah, that'll be fine. Looks like just need to change the pants. And there we go. And she's gonna be a leader type character. So, how about we're gonna have? Yeah, we'll we'll have two leaders with this group because one of them's probably gonna be left behind at some point if they don't die. Aggressive, pessimist. Make her aggressive. She wants to charge into battle and make her psychotic too. Why not? We need plenty of psychotic people on this team. Specialties will be automatic weapons. Absolutely. A psychotic psychopath with an automatic weapon in their hands. Don't need any mechanical ability. Drain that all the way down. Don't need any medical. You don't need any explosives. You can throw grenades and stuff without having explosives. 
Marksmanship all the way up. Leadership. Bump that up to 80. Wisdom. I'll leave that at 75. Health. Um, yeah. Bump strength up. And again, agility and dexterity for movement. What should I take down? Maybe you... No, you do need 75 there. Well, that'll have to work. Be a little bit... Undextrous. We can train all these skills, too. The, um, all of your mercenaries can practice their skills and abilities. And um, those will be our four personnel that um, we create. So let's see. We want to go to next. I think it's the Association of International Mercenaries. I'm trying to avoid the one... Yeah, we're not going to even check out more economic recruiting just yet. We, we don't want them to know we exist, so we're just going to go to A. There we go. So let's see. Warning, the Association of International Mercenaries. The most professional choice for commanders in need of a qualified hired gun. First thing I want to do is go to the links here and check out Bobby Ray's. It's under construction, which is fine. We'll be unlocking that at some point. But... If we unlock it, it'll put the link in our little email, in our web thing here. And we can come back later and actually use it. This is where we're going to be um, buying most of our guns and stuff from. Let's see, what members do we have? Sort them by ascending, sort them by price. And let me see their mug shots. We'll start with Bull here. He's the cheapest of the cheap. He charges these prices, $400 a day, $2,700 for a week, or $4,500 for two weeks. We're going to be hiring mercenaries for two weeks at a time, I think. I don't want to hire John just yet. Dr. Michael Dawson, I like MD. MD is going to come along with us. He's going to be one of our other medics that hopefully lasts. Michael Dawson, MD. Hello, Michael. We're here to hire you. You in need of uh, some work? How long a contract is this going to be? It's going to be two weeks. He'll charge seven thousand dollars. I know I'm a little green as far as field work, well, but just put a scalpel in my hand and watch my smoke. He'll be staying in the back most of the time. We're going to buy his equipment too, so he comes with all this gear. We'll transfer the funds. You got it. I'll be there with bells on. And uh, he'll arrive with everyone else. So let's see. He'll arrive yeah, on day one at approximately seven o'clock. And we've got $20,000 left to spend. We're not going to be able to take this airport without a decent group behind us. Igor? Yeah, I like him too. We're going to hire him. I mean, hopefully you can read their biographies. Uh, I'll check that out after I upload it to YouTube. And if you guys can't read it, maybe I'll, I'll read through it. I like all these characters. I want to you know, showcase all of this stuff, all the detail and... It's it's so much fun. So we'll contact him. This is Igor Dolvich. Hello, Igor. Are you looking for work? What kind of contract do you require? Let's see, two weeks. Buy his equipment as well, and we'll transfer the funds. I heartily endorse this contract. Just come with a hunger for blood. We're gonna be spilling lots of it. Barry is out on assignment right now. He's good with explosives. Um, Grizzly. Not too fond of Grizzly. Helmet. Cynthia Fox. Starting to get real expensive here. Monica Buns. I really like Meltdown, though. And I would like her. She's got decent marksmanship. How much does she charge? Yeah, Meltdown. This about a job? I'm looking for the best of the best, Meltdown. How much are you charging? So, what kind of deal are you looking for? Two weeks is more than I can afford. So, we'll... We'll get her for one week for eight thousand seven hundred, and hopefully. I have a photo of the first person I ever killed. That's why I like. That's why I like Meltdown. Yeah, we'll get her for one week here. All right, deal. Okay, so now we've only got three thousand dollars. We'll just have to end it now, and if everyone gets brutalated and murdered, I'll at least have three thousand dollars to create one mercenary to give it a good last gung-ho solo Rambo attempt. He'll quickly be, be murdered, though. And once we've got everything set up there, hell, just shut down the computer here. And this is the main screen. We're going to be seeing this screen a whole hell of a lot. 
I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this screen, especially once we start training uh, militia and stuff. So you better get used to this. Um, first thing I'm going to do, though, is hell. I'm going to actually shut that down. I'm going to save the damn game. And I'm going to make sure everything's good. Let's see. These are all my test games. This is as far as I made it. This is my farthest save right here. Day... It's not day one, I don't think. Well, I made it to day 100 or something like that. Did it, did it overwrite? Okay, day 50 right here. There we go. Yeah. That's as far as I made it. Hopefully we'll make it that far again. I was trying to siege the hospital, and I could have done it, but I decided it's time to start recording. So I'm going to check and make sure that everything's still working out. And LP day one. Sure you want to override it? Yeah. It's going to be a long journey. We'll start discussing battle plans when I come back.